Servus miteinander. Hello everybody. This is Ingo. How are you doing? Yeah, some of you probably guessed already where I am. Uh, probably the other lot is asking what the hell is he doing now? Well, I'm at the foot of the most famous road in Austria. Most epic climb you can do. It's the Großglockner Hochalpenstraße. Basically started at the little village down Bruck am Großglockner and up to the Edelweisspitze 30 k's elevation gain a whopping 1800 meters this is my third time coming up here but this time I'm gonna make a video so I'm gonna bring this route straight into your living room well I'm doing the first stretch up to Verleiten which is where the toll station is it's 14 kilometers and uh, sections pretty flat and some ramps with up to 9% a lovely start of the route through the forest here amazing temperature currently 17 degrees so not too bad look at that here you can see obviously fair light and it's ahead where they charge you this toll toll station and yeah it's pretty dear but uh, you see the money is uh, wisely spent this road this toll road is uh, probably the nicest road i know it's smooth as uh, as we say baby's ass it's unbelievable beautiful so not just paying the stuff properly really putting money back in so you can enjoy this fantastic ride and for those who never heard about this area the Großglockner is the highest mountain in Austria 3800 and something and uh, this is a national park it's uh, a must visit when you are in Austria connects the two regions provinces of Salzburg over this pass down to Carinthia to Heiligenblut see the toll station so obviously with the bike you don't pay absteigen they want to know who is in in the park and counting look at that the bird is happy you can have a rest here have a little lunch picnic nobody's gonna nick that table that's for sure well now the fun begins now right into a big ramp uh, we have now 16 kilometers and uh, climbing uh, 1400 meters the gross glockner on a bike is not for the faint-hearted it's a tough climb you're gonna see it now for yourself well after the toll station the first two and a half k something like that uh, you're hovering around 12 percent gradient quite a toughie and straight up not much rest and then you come to the first switchback 1392 meters above sea level gave it a name Pifalpe. but it looks like it's not gonna ease up look at that let's do it if you got the right gearing i've got the 1136 so not too much of a problem just make sure you have the right gears available when coming up here i just love climbing these big climbs nothing more satisfying when you know you have to get up to two and a half thousand 
and you were on 1450 and you can do the countdown meter by meter Pitch break number two look how well maintained everything is it's unbelievable yeah, I took up my uncle one day and he always said the best iconic climb in the world is in on Mallorca the Sacalobra beautiful uh, but nowhere near as tough as this one yeah, he made it to the top and he absolutely loved it yeah 1924 a couple of Austrians came up with the idea to build this road but uh, everybody was laughing at them because of those days not many cars around road system not too good so it was declined at that moment but after the money crash 1928 29 uh, the Austrian government decided to that was 1930 to create jobs to fight unemployment and they gave this road work green light uh, two and a half thousand people were employed and 1935 the road was finished obviously since then a lot of changes but you could drive over with the car good 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 this is the first time yes 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 Ja, unbedingt. Super. First time for her. The big back zone. See the cows down there. Yeah, this is the Hohe Tauern mountain range. Yeah, the weather turned out to be better than uh, expected. The weatherman predicted some rain, maybe later. Check out these cows, what a life they have, stress-free, they're up all summer here, amazing, that's how it should be. Yeah, this, you see this tree, this is the large, grows up to 2500 meter, it's the only one you see here, it's the only conifer which loses its leaves, needles in uh, winter every day you learn something new now this pass is closed end of October usually until end of May something like that there are meters and meters of snow I climbed a thousand meters already you can see you're gaining proper altitude here that's where I'm coming, right around the corner, the valley. These mountains here, there are most of them over 3,000 meters high. That's glacier all year round. Unfortunately, they are disappearing as well. So if you plan to come up here, do it sooner rather than later. Caution, marmots. Be careful, they bite. Yeah, there are several races up here actually June is usually always the Großglockner König which is like a sportif anybody can participate also the pros come up here Tour of Austria and the Giro d'Italia I read up the Giro is featured twice up here in the 70s and uh, 2011 with Alberto Contador Right over there, you see a big glacier. Should be about 3,500 meters almost. Look at the waterfalls over there. Now a couple of switchbacks. Up and up and up. We are now on 1,930 meters. Panorama check. Yeah, this road, just to give you an idea, this is all around 12% so uh, quite challenging 
It's, uh, the temperature is nice. If you have a hot day here, over 25, you'll suffer. That's where we're heading up, Fuchsatörl. We made it, folks. Up on the Gross Lokna Fuchsatörl. Yeah! Twenty-six case. We are on two thousand four hundred and forty-one meters. I climbed one thousand six hundred and forty. Oh, guys! Here you see the mountain range. This is the Gross Glockner, three thousand seven hundred and ninety-eight meters. And look at that. You can see it over there. It's very unusual. Uh, the last two times I've been up here, they were covered in clouds. Look at that, highest mountain of Austria. Look at the glaciers. Unbelievable. Magnificent. All right, Fuchsatöl. But uh, we're gonna collect a couple of bonus points. We're going to go up to the Edelweisspitze. It's another, I think, 150 meters elevation. Pretty steep. Nothing under... Yeah, I, th I think it's about 12, 13%. Let's go right to the top. Well, we made it to the Edelweisspitze. Nasty little ramp here. Well, this is the other side here. You see the road from the Fuchsatöl goes down, then a tunnel there, a tunnel there, and then on the other side down to Kaiser Franz Josef Glacier and down to Carinthia to Heiligenblut. It's a long way down. It's a viewpoint here, 2,571 meters. So I came up, push a tail. What a view, yeah. Glockner is gone now. You can't see it anymore. Well guys, we made it. Hope you enjoyed this ride up to the Gross Glockner. Fantastic. Gross Glockner Hochaltenstraße. It's uh, probably Austria's finest. So if you ever have the chance to come here to ride up. It's definitely highly recommended. It's one of the best things you can do. But a uh, little disclaimer, it's not an easy climb. So you need to be prepared. Otherwise, it's going to be a big, a big challenge. Well, thanks for watching. It was a pleasure as always. So I'm heading, I'm going to get a cake, coffee here. And then I'm heading down to Bruck am Großglockner. Job done for today. Well, hope to see you soon, somewhere on the road. Meanwhile, don't forget, keep on pedaling. Cheerio and greetings from Salzburg, Austria. Bye bye. Just go back in time, it's choking it down. Big time.